In this video, we will discuss the use of an op amp voltage follower to prevent loading when an electrical source is connected to an electrical load. Recall that a source is a circuit that is supplying power or a source is any device that is delivering energy into a system. In contrast, a load is any circuit component that consumes power or any device which extracts useful energy from a system. Consider for example a stereo system connected to a speaker or a household appliance such as a toaster plugged into power mains. Both these are examples of source and load. Consider a source circuit which is designed to produce some output voltage V0 when no load is connected to it. In this case, source does not have to supply any current to the load. When a load is connected, the source circuit now has to supply some load current IL. This changes the output voltage produced by the source, which is now VL, and VL is not equal to V0. The change or the decrease in the output voltage of a source when a load is connected to it is called loading. Loading is an undesirable effect and we can prevent it by using a voltage follower connected between source and load. The voltage follower now supplies the current to the load. It copies the voltage V0 from the output of the source to the input of the load without disturbing the source. The voltage follower is also called a buffer or a unity gain amplifier. It is a special form of the conventional non-inverting op-amp amplifier shown here. The gain of this circuit is 1 plus R2 over R1. If we set R2 is equal to 0 ohm, that is a short circuit, and we set R1 is equal to infinity ohm, that is an open circuit. Then the gain of the circuit becomes 1 plus 0 over infinity, which is 1. And the circuit becomes as follows. This is the voltage follower circuit. We can also establish that this circuit has a unity gain by applying the ideal op amp assumption. We can see that negative feedback is present. We have voltage at the positive pin is equal to V in because the input is applied directly at the positive pin of the op amp. Applying the ideal op amp assumption, V minus is equal to V plus is equal to V in. However, we can see that the negative pin of the op amp is directly connected to the output. Thus, output voltage is equal to input voltage. In other words, we have a circuit where the output voltage follows the input voltage. Let us consider a simple example to illustrate the use of a voltage follower to prevent loading. Consider this source circuit as shown here, which produces an output voltage of 6 volts under no load condition. When a 6 ohm load resistor is directly connected to the source, the output voltage of the source drops to 3.6 volts. However, if we use a voltage follower between the source and the load, then the load does not disturb the source and the output voltage is still 6 volts. Please pause the video now if you wish to study the calculations here in more detail. Next, let us consider a more complicated example. Here the source circuit comprises multiple sources and resistors. Also the load circuit comprises a dependent source and multiple resistors. In particular in this example, 
the source circuit has one independent voltage source, one independent current source, one current controlled current source, and two resistors. The load circuit has one current, current controlled voltage source and multiple resistors. We can use Thevenin equivalent circuit technique to represent the source as a single independent voltage source and a single resistance. Similarly, since the load circuit has one dependent source only and multiple resistors, we can use Thevenin equivalent circuit technique to represent the load as a single resistance. If you are interested, links are provided at the end of this video showing how to find these Thevenin equivalent circuit values. Using the Thevenin equivalent circuit technique, we can draw an equivalent circuit for this source load interconnection as shown here. From this simple equivalent circuit, it is very easy to show that the output voltage is 4.705 volts and this is less than 8 volts due to the loading effect. However, if we interconnect the source and the load using a voltage follower, then it can be easily shown that the output voltage is now 8 volts. That is, the voltage follower prevents the load from disturbing the source and this avoids loading. We can reconfirm these values using LTSPICE. This is the same circuit with the source directly connected to the load. When we run this simulation, we can get the operating point values. We can click here and LTSPICE is showing that when the source is directly connected to the load, the output voltage of the source is 4.705 volts, which matches what we predicted. This is the source and the load circuit with a voltage follower connected in between. When we run this simulation, we can obtain the operating point values. We can click here. The output voltage of the source is approximately 8 volts and at the output of the voltage follower, the load voltage is also 8 volts. So this confirms the prediction that we made and shows that a voltage follower can be used to eliminate loading effects when interconnecting a source and a load.